A traditional British pint could soon become a luxury. In the last five years, the tax on every beer poured has gone up so much, pubs and bars are going out of business by the thousands. RT Sarah Firth reports on one community that found an unconventional way to keep their boozer up and running. Something is brewing in Britain. With a new budget around the corner, duty on beer is set to rise again. A third of the cost of a pint already goes to the tax man. Campaigners have said enough's enough and are calling for a freeze. British drinkers paying around ten times as much as drinkers in Germany. So we think it would just be right to hold, that, hold, to, to, to hold down the burden, not increase the tax yet again and keep down the cost for ordinary consumers. Pubs are a time-old tradition in Britain, but to fully understand their appeal, we have to go 300 miles from London, here to Heskett Newmarket, a village in the heart of England's countryside and steeped in history. Ten years ago, when the only pub in this village was put up for sale, the people who lived here, rather than risk seeing it fall into the hands of a big chain and lose its unique character, decided to do something a little bit different and took matters into their own hands. Locals grouped together and bought the pub, turning it into a cooperative, believed to be the first of its kind in the UK. I have called it anti mcdonaldization um, it is kind of corporate tide, the steamroller that flattens everything in its path and you end up with a supermarket on every, every roundabout outside the, every town. And every high street in every town looks the same. The pub's fondly referred to by locals as a comfy old slipper and has proven a hit with tourists and villagers alike. Look closely and you might even spot a few famous faces sampling the local brews. The pub wasn't about money, but it does turn a profit. But even here, the beer duty hikes are felt. But every time the price goes up because of duty or for whatever reason, other reason, it's another, it just makes it just that bit harder, really. Round the corner and the microbrewery that supplies the pub is also a cooperative. That too is doing well. In the UK, smaller brewers pay half the tax of the major companies. But Heskett Newmarket's been lucky. A mixture of good business sense and strong community spirits has meant the brewery and the pub have avoided the slide caused by the beer duty escalator. Across the UK, though, and many others haven't been so lucky. While big businesses can afford to pick up the tax tab, it's small independent pubs that suffer. In the last four years, nearly 6,000 pubs have closed, resulting in tens of thousands of job losses. I mean, the real ale section of the market is the only one that's actually doing well at the moment. It's actually sort of going against the trend of like falling sales. We've got gradual year-on-year -year increase in sales. With, in real ales, I think it's mainly down to the places they serve as well, because they tend to be in proper pubs. Um, rather than, you know, sports bars with big screens serving sort of industrial lager, you know, it's sort of individual beers in an environment where you can have a chat with somebody and put the world to rise, really. And beyond profits, it's the risk of losing a British institution that's proving such a sobering thought. You see yourself what this is like, it's a community. Uh, it brings people together. People, that, that, it's like the difference between social networking and, and meeting somebody in real life. There is no substitute for, for this kind of conviviality. The old crown might be unique in Britain these days, harking back to a time of community that many of us have now forgotten. But it's a reminder too of why some traditions are best preserved. Sarah Firth, RT, Heskett Newmarket in Cumbria.